man, oftentimes when I do videos pertaining to, you know, issues amongst men and women, particularly when I'm reposting content or discussing this stuff, tying it to biblical aspects, you know, women oftentimes will like to blame men where they don't want to take accountability. But you know, today's video, you simply don't even have the excuse of being able to blame men because today's topic will shock you. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, oftentimes I like to come from a, a place of logic, reasoning, you know, bringing forth evidence, bringing forth facts, uh, you know, statistics. And I like to stray away from, you know, the topics that are feeling-based, opinionated, because Everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but you're not entitled to your own facts, your own statistics and things like that. Man, did you know that the rate of divorce amongst lesbians is above 75%? Man, I'm gonna post a clip in here where this lady is talking about this. And at the time of her recording, it is at 70 or so percent amongst lesbians, okay? But you can go look up statistics and they'll range from 75% all the way up to 78% rate of divorce amongst lesbians. I could not resist, so I had to look it up. From the Office of National Statistics from a 2019 study, in ever-increasing numbers, we are now at a lesbian divorce rate of 72%. So the top four reasons that they are reporting getting divorced is feeling ignored, inequality in the partnership, adultery, and domestic violence. Personally, I feel like this lends some weight to men's arguments and complaints about how women are behaving in relationships. So you take uh, a woman that says, okay, I want nothing to do with a man. I'm going to go over here to a woman because a woman is going to help. A woman is going to know how to better comprehend Uh, and understand my emotions and we'll be able to regulate our emotions together. We will be emotionally mature together. But when you go over there, the divorce rate is over 75% amongst lesbians. What is the excuse now? Who will you blame now? You can't blame men for this because once again, nobody put a gun to your head and told you to get with the woman, okay? See, what translates over and where the parallel is, when we look at, uh, you know, straight couples, straight marriages, the divorce rate is above 70% of the divorces of straight marriages being filed by women. The lesbian divorce rate shows you that women cannot even cooperate amongst themselves. They cannot cooperate amongst themselves. The majority, 70%, okay? Now, we don't have the statistics to find out how many of these lesbian, uh, you know, women are educated because on the straight side of the house, we know that that rate of divorce being filed by women jumps from 70% to 90% if they are educated. Out of all these women, Uh, that be like, men are the abusers and all of that. Do you know or justification for divorce amongst lesbian is? Go figure, domestic violence, domestic violence. So you got one woman that conducts herself very masculine and then you have uh, one of them that is the the, the film or whatever they call it that don't want a man and then they're fighting like cats and dogs, putting their hands over one another. That's why I told you, man, women are leading the charge. And here's another one. When you look at 
a woman's education, a woman who is educated, that doesn't mean she has common sense. That doesn't mean she has wisdom, not a righteous divine wisdom. When you look at when you look at these statistics, they show you a lot. And oftentimes, man, when I put, when I, especially when I repost uh, something on my channel where one woman is pretty much addressing the issues and trying to police up the other women, you know, like they should be. The older women are supposed to teach the younger women what are good. Man, the first thing you get in the comments is these women not wanting to be accountable, wanting to blame somebody else, wanting to blame a man, trying to roast or shame the woman that's trying to uh, talk about these issues. And I'll tell you, See, the most Taya had it where a woman was supposed to be blameless. Meaning there was supposed to be no fault to the woman because you are covered. Covered by your father, covered by your husband. But when you have a divorce rate amongst the lesbians of 70%, you choose not to be covered by anybody. That's your own doing because nobody's putting a gun to your head as two women telling you to fight like cats and dogs. The same thing, uh, the second reason or justification for divorce amongst lesbians, infidelity, infidelity. Listen to that. So I, I know women like to say, man, all men are cheaters and all men are dogs, but how is it that you guys have the highest statistics when it comes to failing in a relationship? You know what the divorce rate is amongst gay men? And I'm not advocating, I'm not promoting it, hell no. But the divorce rate amongst gay men is less than half of what the lesbian divorce rate is. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? When you look at it, the most high y'all counts uh, both of them as an abomination. They're both abominable. He says in his word, you shall be put to death. Just because you may not be put to death right now doesn't mean you're going to escape judgment if you haven't turned from your wicked ways. But people hate statistics. And where you provide statistics and facts, they've always got feelings and emotions that ain't got nothing to do with nothing which you're entitled to. But I tell you on this channel, we're coming from a place of truth, a place of biblical truth, a place of being biblically concrete. And oftentimes that's where a lot of the, 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 the hate comes from because you are trying to, you know, I try to reiterate, hey, a woman can be blameless. There's no time in my marriage that I've told my wife to do something, giving her an instruction she has obeyed and submitted to uh, what I've told her to do. And it, she goes and it doesn't work out and I get to blame her. No, she's blameless because she was obedient to the instruction that I gave. And that's where the word says, obey them that have rule over you. But you can see, man, you can't even get two women to cooperate. And they use that as an argument uh, to, to attack what men try to say. And it always falls through. It always falls apart. There's no validity to it. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing. Gun barrel straight. Bow.